What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at something a little different. This is the Control Center Display Pack and Headquarters Display Pack from ExtremeSets.com. So I picked these up a while back. I pre-ordered them. I did actually get the original sets they had, um, but these had the 3D parts to them, so I wanted to take a look. The originals didn't work well in my shelf. They work a lot better in DTOFs. These are also designed for DTOFs. Me personally, you know my display. If you've been watching my channel, I use shelves. So we're going to take a look at both of these sets. I'm going to take them out, show you how to put them together, and then I'm going to actually put them on my shelves, and you'll see for the first time, at least on my channel, how these look on the shelves. All right? So without further ado, let's get this open. We'll start off with the Control Center Display Pack, which is the Autobot display. So let's go over what you get in the box. You can see I have the backgrounds displayed in my review area. They don't all fit here, but just for the purpose of assembly and going through what you get, I put them here. Now there's actually four panels. One, two, three, and then behind this I have the fourth panel. Um, but they just don't fit here in my display area. Now there's a little bit of assembly. You can see there's some slots here. If you can't see it, there's a couple right here, here, and then here along the side. So those are intended for the 3D part of the display where there's some control panels and stuff that will um, protrude from the display. Um, these are actually one piece, so the floor is actually attached. So you can see it bends right there. It actually came in the box um, folded up like this. So you had to unfold it and you can set it up like this. Uh, one of my friends recommended putting double-sided tape so it sticks to my shelves. Um, I believe these are designed to fit on a DTOF. It, they're designed to fit that size, but I'll just show you measurement. Looks like 14 and a half high to the top. The floor comes out to 11 and a half inches. Sorry if that's off the camera. So if you are wondering if this will fit in your display or in your DTOF, there are the measurements for you. So let's get this get ready to assemble it. It does come with instructions. Here are the instructions. So there are actually a bunch of different pieces. So there's two pieces here that are going to go on the display, kind of like a Teletrain one, I believe. There's a piece that goes down here, almost like a little display piece that kind of sets down. And then there's a bigger piece that goes on one of the parts. So we're going to put these together. I just wanted to show you these instructions. They do tell you kind of how to do it. All right, so let's get going. We'll start off with one of these smaller pieces here. So according to their picture here, you have one like this, and you have one longer piece like this. They're going to end up assembling. So this is kind of the screen. You can see it's right there. So if you don't want to put these on, you can still have the option of displaying it without the 3D piece. I think it looks really nice with the 3D piece. I'm going to put it on, but there it is right there if you don't want it. So go ahead and you're going to bend these here. And it is kind of perforated there. It's not perforated, but it's uh, sort of creased there, so you can get it easily. And basically, you're going to stick it through just like old school when you're a kid, you know, put together these little cardboard or whatever displays you would get in magazines. Same kind of thing. So we're going to stick these into here. Okay, right, and there you go. There's what it looks like with the display piece installed. Let me move this one off. And that looks pretty cool. I mean, pretty neat little thing. Now here's with the back. I believe we're gonna end up folding these over onto the back of the uh, cardboard. Now for me personally, I need the space, so I'm gonna have to fold those so that it sits flat against my shelf. Um, but I really like the way that looks. I think it just turns out great. So we're gonna do the same thing on this one. Again, I'm probably gonna fast forward this part. It's probably boring to see me doing this. Um, but again, you can see it's got the part printed there. So if you don't want to use the 3D display, you don't have to. But let's go ahead and install this one as well. And there you go. There is the display. And I can see I have a little bit of the whatever was in those holes comes popping out, which is fine. And now you got that look there. So that looks pretty cool. I like how that looks. So let's assemble the rest. Now these just turn into boxes. So you can see they're already kind of put together. I'm gonna to kind of straighten these up into rectangular shapes here. 
and then it turns into a box. You know, pretty simple assembly there. And this one, I believe it goes on the bottom of the display. So let's see, I believe it's this one here. And I'm not sure if there's a direction. It's hard to tell, looks like you could use any side you want to. And they're, they're mirror images. So I believe this one just goes right there on this display here. All right, next we're gonna take a, this piece right here, which kind of turns into an angled computer. And that's gonna go right here on the bottom of that panel there. So this one's a little bit trickier because you got to fold it in the right order. So this one, you're basically going to take these flaps here, and those are going to fold in on both ends. So go ahead and get it set up kind of like this, with these flaps angled inwards. Then you want to take this and fold this up into the shape they expect. So in order to do that, you got to fold these tabs as you fold, here, maybe do it this way, and put them in one at a time. So do these front tabs first. Make sure you get them all the way in, so that's one side done. And then do the next side, same thing, stick in the next two tabs. And so on and so forth, we're going to keep going. And then finally on the bottom, get these four tabs in at the same time. Make sure you're all lined up. And close up the box. There you go, there is the box all put together. Make sure you get all these kind of squared off, and that's what it looks like. You can probably get this a little bit better and straight. It does sit nice and flat, and this one's going to go over here on the bottom of this panel. Let me just shift these over so you can see. That fits perfectly right there. So that's really it for the assembly on this set. We're going to get this onto the shelf in a little bit. First we're going to go ahead and assemble the headquarters display pack, which is the Decepticon version of this. So let's get that out. So here are the headquarters display pack out of the box, and this also has four panels, just like the control center. And so, here, let's pan over, there's the one, there's the main center computer, the side one, and then there's the fourth one. And you can see there's a gap here on the bottom, and that's where we're gonna end up putting some of the pop-ups. So here's the pop-ups you get. On this one you get just two. So you get this and this right here. Um, so those are going to end up going down here on the bottoms of these displays. I assume they're going to fill in those parts there. So just like the other one we do get instructions here to put it together and basically just going to fold these boxes up like before. So there is an order to these. Now this one, I'm going to take, open this up, and first you want to fold these panels in, like that. Get these going inside, see on this one, this is going inside. Fold this panel down here, fold these tabs down, and that's going to go into here. And the order does kind of matter because otherwise you'll have a hard time getting these tabs in. All right, and then this one is going to make a box. And there you go. There is that one all done. I believe it goes like this. So you kind of get this display piece here. Here's the second one. This one is just basically the same kind of box type of thing. There's what it looks like all done. So, let's see. Okay, so I believe this piece goes here. I think I had it wrong. As you can see, it matches up. So once again, if you don't want to use this, you can just leave it like that. It looks sort of 3D, but if you want it really 3D, there you go. And then we'll pan over here. Here's the other panel. And this piece, I believe, just sits right there. So that's it for the headquarters display. Now what we're going to do is get these up on my shelf. So let me take a shot of the shelf before this. So I'll kind of do a before and after so you can kind of see how they look. So here's my display currently. I'm planning to do that bottom shelf there where you see Optimus and Megatron. So I'm going to start on this shelf here with the Autobot display and then I'm going to work my way over. Let's see how far along that goes. But that whole shelf is Autobots. And then we're going to work on the Decepticon shelf here and hopefully that goes with the end on this side. 
So let's get that installed and then we'll come right back and I'll show you how it looks. So here is the finished updated display. Now I left everything exactly how it was. I probably won't leave it like this permanently, but I wanted to show you the exact same setup, but just with the background inserted. And uh, man, what a difference this makes. Just to show you the contrast, there's my shelf without the background done. Now I do have more display backgrounds left, so I am gonna do the rest of this shelf. Um, I kind of regret not buying enough of these, but anyway, here how it looks. I mean, just looks awesome. And again, I probably wouldn't have it set up like this, but just to show you how it looks, exactly the same setup. There's the uh, computer screen behind him. That looks really good. So the Autobot one worked out pretty much perfectly. I did have a piece of the Decepticon shelf, so here's the Decepticon. I don't have anything to dividing this, so I think I might get something just to put it between there. You know, just a black piece of cardboard or something, but here's the Decepticon. This one also came out really good. Unfortunately, I could not put the computer behind there. There wasn't enough space. Just the way I have it set up, that doesn't mean you can't do it. It's just I wanted to replicate the exact setup I had before. So I do have that piece of cardboard kind of sitting separately. Um, and I used, I actually moved that one over here and then I got rid of this one. But these guys can stand on it just perfectly. So that worked out. Here's the rest of the shelf. And here's where it ends, so again, you can see the contrast, how much different it looks without the background. Of course, I'm gonna finish this off with some more backgrounds here. Um, but definitely recommend it. I really think these sets turned out great. I think Extreme Sets does a good job. Um, and one more thing, just this arc turned out perfectly because now it looks like it is actually crashed into the mountain because up there on the display, you can see the little mountain side there. So I am going to continue with this on my display set here and I haven't gone through all my shelves. I probably have to buy a few more, um, but this definitely looks great. I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a diorama or a background for your detoffs or for your shelves or just for whatever setup you have, definitely recommend it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.